I must bring me out for dates, okay, after the CB. Of course, looking forward to as long as we practice the necessary safety precautions. <laughs> Hi everyone, so welcome back to another episode of Liz. First, my name is Liz, and uh, some of you might know me as Kylo Lizzy on Instagram. So today I'll be filming a day in my life being quarantined, as well as life being a prego mom. So it's actually my first time vlogging. <laughs> I don't really know what to expect. I've never done this before. I'm slightly nervous, but mm, let's see. Life in quarantine. Hmm. Initially, it was really hard because I'm like a person that likes to go out, but I kind of got used to it already. You know what's the time now? The time is actually like 4 plus. I just woke up. <laughs> So my sleeping cycle is quite messed up right now. I would watch like drama series until 5am with Mr. Maxi Lim, aka my husband. I'm actually in Maxi's sister room right now. Her room is so nice. Every time I want to have a change of vibe, I'll come in this room and just chill out, you know? And like, they can have some alcoholic drinks. I'll just drink plain water with ice. <laughs> and just listen to music. It's really nice. And we play board games as well. All right, so today I'm going to show you how I spend a day in my life. Let's go. All right, so just to show you guys my baby bump. So actually from the front, you can't really tell, but from the side, it just looks like I eat a lot. Oh my gosh. My current weight is... Oh my gosh, it's 55. It was 48, so... The baby is only 250 grams. I don't know where is the remaining kg. Hey, what? Oh, oh, it increased one more kg. You call the camera. Last night, I told him that I have cravings for Korean cold noodles, which is also called bibim blingmyeon. Being a good husband, he immediately wrote it down in his notebook and we go out and we got it. He is gonna cook for me later and I'm just gonna assist him with my eye using my eye power. So that's how I contribute. It's a teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you can tell, we are gonna work out right now. As you can tell, I'm wearing his um, Muay Thai shorts. He has like a variety of Muay Thai shorts, and I think he can start to sell Muay Thai shorts already. <laughs> he has like many, many different colors and many, many different designs. And I'll choose one each time I work out so I can feel inspired and be like him, as awesome as him. Oh. Today we're just gonna work on the basics. Make sure this is a 20-minute workout, good work, good work, honest work, and uh, here we go. Let's go! We'll come to the end of our workout. Uh, today we just do a bit of easy work just what? to get a bit of a heart easy? rate. Just to get the heart rate up okay. and um, you know just to burn off a little bit. A lot of people think boxing is dangerous for pregnant women but actually it's very good because it helps you raise your heart rate and as long as you keep it safe, I'm always observing her while I'm teaching her. So tell us more, how do you feel about this workout? I feel like it's great. Uh, he's a really good teacher so if you want to sign up, you can like... <laughs> <laughs> He's holding a pregnancy my thai course. <laughs> but it's good workout, it's good workout. Okay. I'm so tired. I already have all the things that pregnant women usually would have, which is satellite, dry skin, and a little bit of stretch marks. I'm quite worried to be honest. So I'm like trying to do all the self-care for my skin so i actually bought like a dry brush online 
and I start to do this every single day. So it actually helps with like blood circulation and exfoliation lah. So what I do is uh, I just like, you know, do this every single day. My arms as well. And I'll use like a body lotion to just moisturize my skin. I will do it on most parts of my body, including the baby bump. Like, I don't want to do it when it gets really, really very big. I want to start doing it right now so I can reduce the formation of stretch marks. I heard that it's genetics. Some people don't have uh, stretch marks on their belly, but some people have. My mom actually don't have it. So I fingers crossed, but I'm just still gonna apply lotion on my belly and stuff in case. I like when lotions have scent. It just makes me happy. Like when I smell it. Alright, so that's all for lotion. So the next thing that I do daily is taking my prenatal vitamins. The first vitamins that I take is calcium and magnesium. I got all of this from iHerb. To be honest, like I do take eating vitamins pretty seriously because it's one of the first few major decisions you can make for your baby. Calcium is really important because your bones and your joints get more fragile and looser when you are pregnant. Yeah, because you know your body is supplying a lot of vitamins to the kid and uh, you have to replenish it. So um, calcium is definitely a must. And magnesium, good for like, you know, sleeping and like overall health. And then I have gotten a cranberry catch as well. And it's very good for, you know, female urinary tract. And uh, next I have Folic Exceed. Uh, this is really good. I think this is the first few supplements you should buy when uh, you are pregnant. And uh, lastly, I actually have, oops, I actually have uh, prenatal multivitamins. So uh, I personally don't recommend multivitamins because uh, your body just don't absorb vitamins that, that well if they are all compressed into a single pill. Your body absorbs individual vitamins better. However, if you are a person that prioritizes convenience more, <laughs> this is really good for you. So that's all. So I do take them daily. Many of you have been asking me how many weeks I am now. I'm actually 24 weeks pregnant. A lot of people have been asking me to show them my baby bum as well. It really depends on what kind of clothes I wear and what time is it during the day. I think it depends on the position of the baby. When it's lying down, it's like definitely smaller or something. I'm, I'm not so sure. <laughs> and he has been really active, kicking me every single night and day. So a really active little boy. And uh, we have no idea what's the name gonna, what his name is gonna be yet. So if you have any name suggestion, please comment down below and let me know. And I'll scroll through and see if I have any inspiration from that. That would be very helpful. What changes do I have in my life after being pregnant is uh, I can't really walk that far anymore and I can't really work out that much anymore. Like sometimes if I work out too hard, I'll feel like a slight discomfort in my stomach or like my womb and I feel very paranoid so I stop doing it. And if I don't sleep enough, I feel extremely exhausted. It's not like the normal kind of exhausted. It's super, super exhausted. It's really different. I guess I can mostly only stay at home now. I really respect all the working mums because I don't know how you guys do it. You have my respect. I don't know if I can do it. I don't think I can. How am I feeling? And do I have morning sickness, cravings, aches and pains? Okay, actually I only have morning sickness in the first trimester and it only lasted for two weeks. It's really terrible. You know, some ladies, they have morning sickness to throughout the entire pregnancy. I mean, my heart really goes out to them because it's really not easy. What I do to curb it is by eating like ginger sweet or peppermint tea. All this really helps. I actually have cravings, but my cravings change every single day. There's a couple days where I really like to eat snacks. But, but like now I don't really snack anymore. 
Right, so that is the end of a day in my life during the circuit breaker. That is right, right now we are looking forward to the delivery of Eat B. And right now I'm just making sure my wife is healthy, she's happy. We are looking forward to the arrival of our child who will be together with us during our wedding banquet. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Do remember to like and subscribe. subscribe. Bye! Bye-bye!